Starting out this week, you may be familiar with the bands One Direction and the singer Ed Sheeran. Now, if you're not, uh, ask your teenage daughter. She knows all about them. So, behind each of those global international superstars is one young woman, and she's half Canadian. Her name is Fiona Bevan. And you know what? Fiona wants her own turn in the spotlight. And it's just about time, you know? She has this really beautiful, exceptionally high voice for a pop singer, but she's at a point where it's so unconventional that it's really starting to stick out in a world where everything sounds the same. This is an artist who is a pop songwriter using her talents for herself, and it's about time. Check out Fiona Bevan. New album is called Talk to Strangers, and it's out July 23rd. Up next, you may be familiar with the indie rock band Tokyo Police Club, uh, the pride and joy of Newmarket, Ontario. Huge band in the U.S., they do really well in Canada as well. And after years of touring on the road, these guys have been together since they were in high school and they're all in their late 20s, early 30s right now. Their lead singer, Dave Monks, finally wants to try to do something different. And it's for a very cool reason. He says Tokyo Police Club is the kind of band that takes a lot of joy in following trends. Whatever's new, whatever's hip, they want to see what they can do to it. But when he's home by himself with an acoustic guitar, he just wants to write songs that he wants to write, that sound like him, that sound like Tom Petty, that sound like Tom Waits. So Dave Monks, even though Tokyo Police Club are still together, is releasing an album of music for him. And even though it's for him, I have a feeling you're really going to love it as well, because it's exceptionally honest music. It's called All Signs Point to Yes. It's the new Dave Monks, and it's out now. Because gasoline is burning up, and I've been losing sleep. I just need someone to rely on. And finally, I hate to say this again, but you might remember uh, Faith No More. Remember that song, Epic? And at the end of the video, the, the trout was just flopping around on the ground until it died. It was very sad, but a really beautiful song and a very strange band. The band that kind of morphed all different styles together. Jazz, classical, heavy metal, punk, rock and roll. Faith No More broke up in 2009, but now they're back together. I'm gonna tell you, nothing has changed. There's a great line here, it says, their music is in a word, schizophrenic, sounding like Nirvana and Miles Davis while reading Nietzsche. If you're an old Faith No More fan or you're into eclectic music, you're gonna love the new album. It's out now. Right, that's it for me this week at uh, cbcmusic.ca. Whether you're watching this in Canada or you're watching it all the way over in Latvia, I hope you enjoyed today's uh, new music picks. You can find me whenever you want, youtube.com slash cbcmusic, or just look in the bar above me. See you next week, later on. Hey, I'm Tom Power. Thanks so much for watching our video. I do want to let you know that you can watch one video there, watch another video right there. Uh, you can subscribe by clicking that button and leave a comment down below. We'll see you later. Oh.